and the God of the work, uh, the work of God and God himself. Someone could be working for God, but doesn't even know God who he's working for. Someone could be working in a company, but doesn't know the boss. It's true that in our relationship with the Lord, and as we work for the Lord, we also need to know who we work for. We need to know who we are working for. Um, a lot of Christians fall into this, um, if, I may call it, if, if I may call it this mistake or a trap of working and working and stressing out ourselves, doing the work of God, but not having a relationship with the Lord of the work. When, they, when Jesus said, the harvest is rich, but the laborers are few, pray to the Lord of the harvest to send laborers into his harvest. So there is a harvest, and there is also the Lord of the harvest. I've come to realize that most times we want to do one thing or the other in order to show God that we love him or in order to make God love us. And we forget that there is nothing we can do to gain the love of God. He loved us even before he made us. So there is really nothing we should do to show God or to merit the love of God. The love of God is there. So the Lord desires that we know him, have a relationship with him, then our love for him would now cause us to do some works. However, most Christians do it the other way. They do a lot of things. We walk and we walk, we do this and we do that, and we feel these things would make us acceptable before God. But it is not so. That's why when they asked Jesus in the gospel of today, when they asked him, what must we do if we are to do the works that God wants? If we, if we have to do the works that God wants, what must we do? Then Jesus said to them, this is working for God. You must believe in the one he has sent. That's the work of God. Believe in the one he has sent. Believe in Jesus. I remember also, there was a place Jesus said to them, you search the scriptures, believing that in them you have life, but you do not come to me who is the source of life. So it is Jesus who has the message of eternal life. So if we want to do the work of God, we go to Jesus first. We surrender to Jesus. We submit to Jesus. We accept the message of Jesus. We accept his love for us. We got to believe in him before doing his works. Not believing in his works. He doesn't want us to believe in his, in his works. Jesus wants us to believe in him. It's quite um, difficult. So it might be difficult to uh, separate, but it is not really difficult to separate. Jesus first. Come as you are, as I am, Lord. You know, one of the hymns, I'm not sure if it is in our hymn book. Just as I am without one plea, but that thy blood was for me, and thou that bidst me come to thee, O Lamb of God, I come, I come just as I am, without one plea, but that thy blood was shed for me, and thou that bidst me come to thee, O Lamb of God, I come. I come. That's simple. Just come. Don't feel, don't think you have to be, you have to be holy before you come to the Lord. 
Don't think you need to be perfect before you come to the Lord. Don't think you need to get it right before you come to the Lord. You have to come to him, then he will help you to get it right. You have to come to him, then he will make you holy. It is him that sanctifies us. We cannot sanctify ourselves. We cannot make ourselves holy. He wants us first. So many of us burn ourselves out trying to be better persons, doing a lot of things to be better persons. We try to avoid this. We try to do this. We avoid that. We go for this. We try to put that on bets. The more we try to do that, the more we fail. The more we fail again and again. We make a decision, I'm not going to do this again. I'm not going to do this. The next hour, you find yourself into it, doing it. Because you feel you can please the Lord by your own strength. But as you are in your weakness, come to him and say, Lord, I know I am weak. However, I love you, Lord. Help me. And he will help you. Just tell with him. He will introduce strength in you. And what you call your weakness, you will see it going away. You will see yourself rising above your limitations, rising above your sinful habits. You see yourself becoming stronger than what used to overpower you because you have come to the Lord first. So dear friends, may we stop, um, may we stop laboring outside the Lord. May we come to him first, accept his love for us, and then let him inspire us on what to do. That is, that is if we have to do anything at all. Because he has done the work. He has done the bulk of the work. We only have to believe in the one he has sent, who is Christ Jesus, our Lord. May this message be fruit in our hearts that we may draw closer and closer to the Lord. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen.